Just gonna keep recording. Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm presenting my Rube Goldberg project for Mr. Mraz's eighth grade accelerated science class. Before I start, I'd like to explain what Newton's three laws are so it's easier for you to understand what I'm talking about later. So the first law, Newton's first law, is that an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force, and an object moving at a constant velocity will continue to move at that velocity unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Newton's second law is that acceleration depends on both force and mass. Newton's third law is that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. To start the machine, a car will roll down this tube. This shows Newton's second law because the angle of the tube would change the force of the car's rolling, making for a different acceleration. Also, if the car were to have any other mass, it would affect the acceleration too. Next, this cylinder will be knocked down by the car, causing the little silver ball to swing around in a circle and hit the Xbox game case. This step shows Newton's first law because the ball is initially at rest atop the cylinder, with the cylinder being at rest too. But the cylinder moving and gravity act as unbalanced forces to make the ball no longer be at rest. The Xbox game case is at rest too and the swinging ball acts as an unbalanced force to cause it to no longer be at rest. Then, the game case will fall onto the thingy. This shows Newton's first law, because the thingy is at rest until the unbalanced force of the game case hits it. With the thingy out of the way, the can will roll down the ironing board. This shows Newton's third law, because the thingy being moved is the action and the soup can rolling is the reaction. The soup can will collide with the tape roll and and that will set off the pulley and move the square tube out of the way. Um, this shows Newton's third law because the can hitting the tape and the tape rolling off the table is the action and the square tube lifting up because of the pulley is the reaction. Now that the square tube is out of the way, the train can move forward. This shows Newton's first law because the unbalanced force of the square tube causes the train to stay at rest, but when the square tube is lifted, there is little unbalanced force acting on the train, so it can move forward. Once the train gets to the end of the tracks, it knocks down these Jenga blocks. This shows Newton's third law because the train hitting the first block is the action and the block falling onto the other blocks is the reaction. Also, this step shows Newton's first law because each block is initially at rest until the unbalanced force of the train or the previous block hits it. The final Jenga block will hit the small yellow ball and the ball will drop through the funnel, which is here. This shows Newton's first law because the ball is initially at rest until the unbalanced force of the last Jenga block causes the ball to move. Once the ball gets to the bottom of this track, it will knock down a series of dominoes. This shows Newton's third law because the ball rolling into the first domino is the action and the domino falling onto the next is the reaction. At the end of the series of dominoes is the cup contraption. The last domino will fall into this cup here, making the contraption unbalanced. So this end will lift up and let the ball roll into the netted goal. This shows Newton's first law because the unbalanced force of the falling domino makes the contraption lift up and release the ball. Also, the ball is at rest until the domino falls, letting gravity act on the ball. Um, now I'll explain what's going to happen without Newton's laws. The car will roll down the tube, moving the cylinder, and letting the pendulum swing. The pendulum will swing into the game case. The game case will fall onto the thingy, allowing the can to roll down the ironing board. The can will hit the roll of tape. The tape will roll 
off the table, activating the pulley, which we made out of an old tape dispenser, and moving the square tube out of the way. The train will move on the tracks, knocking over the Jenga blocks. The final Jenga block will fall onto a yellow ball. The yellow ball will drop into the funnel and onto the track, causing a series of dominoes to fall. At the end of the series of dominoes, the final domino will fall into this cup, lifting the other end of the cup contraption and allowing the ball to roll into the netted goal. Trial number 23, I'm going to drop the car through the tube.